This is a brilliant question from BPA. Alex, can we look at the follow through and hand position of club face with irons and driver? What a brilliant club face. Now, most of us are in that sort of slicey territory. Watching this will definitely, I'm confident, it'll stop your slice for good and, well, hit a lot straight shot. So have a look at this slow-mo on the screen right now. Have a look at the extension, have a look at the release of the club. Following this little process, you're gonna do this with your irons and with your driver. So let's start from the tee and then we'll move down the fairway as well. You don't need this badminton racket, this just helps me explain as I say. First things first, what is your power source, right? Your power source is your body, so it's pretty important you get this right. So first part of this process, I want you to think about, as you start down, can your belt buckle point to target before you even start to move? So like this. And I want you to do, let's say, three to eight reps, like I'm doing here. So we're just getting that sequence of the body right. This is gonna really help me stop slicing, I promise you. Look at my body, right? And do three to eight, and this could be just three to eight reps every single day, right? And you're gonna feel so much better. That's gonna help you get your path a little bit to the right. Next up, what do these wrists wanna do? So think of this, right? What's your only point of contact with the golf club? It's your grip and it's these wrists. So they have a big deal on where that club face points. So what I want you to get the understanding is, I'm leaving my body static for this next bit. I want you to get the feeling of thumbs over. It's almost like I'm throwing a frisbee out the back of my glove hand. That's where I'd sort of describe it. And again, do three to eight reps, getting that motion. Now, just as you're doing stage two, just bring in stage one and two together. Have a look at this, right? This is getting close to what we want to see on the golf course, what we want to see on that slow-mo. Bringing the badminton racket in now, this will be the little bingo moment for you. Just in my left hand. Again, you don't need one, it just helps you understanding. So again, just do wrists. Wrists and body. Look at this now. You can really see that I'm releasing through that ball. So follow those three stages. You're gonna get the club traveling way more into out and also releasing more. That stops your slice, simple. Club releasing into out is all the recipe you need. Let's go down the line perspective now. I've got driver in my hand and like I say, 17th is a tough hole. You might've seen this before. Look at this. So bringing this all in together, you can clearly see this would be slicey. Horrible, plagues. We want to stay away from that. Body movement right, wrist right. Look where my club travels now. And you know what, go to town with it. Exaggerate it, do it as much as you dare because that's what we need to go with this. Right, let's hit driver away. And I'll show you the difference between what you'll see with driver and we'll jump down the fairway with irons. Ha oh, ha. Oh. We are happy with that. I think breaking that down and understanding that better body movement, better hand movement, give you better follow through, and in essence, better control of the club face. So let's jump down the fairway now and show you what the difference is with irons and driver. So I know this will stop you slicing because what I'm showing you to do here is go away from that action, okay, to that action. Now look how much better that looks, right? We all would want that so much. Now, the only difference between your irons and your driver is, as we move to the face-on perspective, is simply that when you start at the address position, we get a little bit more tilt. And what I mean by tilt is right shoulder's a little bit below left, so our hands would be a little bit higher. With our irons, the shoulder's a little bit more level at address because we want to hit down the golf ball, so the hands will be a little bit lower. But essentially, we're still doing the same action. We're still trying to hit a bit more from the inside, with the body movement and with the release of the hands, how we've spoken about it, that's how we're gonna square up and close that face. Dead easy, simple, everybody can 100% follow this process and have some joy. Okay, hit the green, you've gotta subscribe and you've gotta share this video. Get a piece of that left edge. Guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. You've definitely gotta hit the thumbs up button right now. See you tomorrow.